everyone. It's me in the sun. So uh, I'm hiding my Pink Floyd t-shirt today. Um, hanging out here with my puppies. Hello, Georgie. Um, okay, I, I will show you. Hi, buddy. Hello. Say hello. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about um, wants versus needs. And um, a big part of this topic, it can be really confusing, I find, for people because unless you know yourself really, really well, and I mean, age doesn't matter, but of course, the longer you are on earth and the more lives you've had, um, the more wisdom and knowledge you're going to have, right? Hopefully. And so what's coming through here is um, when we're focusing, sometimes I use the word desire instead of want because sometimes want can even be similar to a need. Um, so when we're working on our wants, we can just use the word desire. I desire this, right? And when we have new moons, which we do have one coming up on March 2nd, 2022. So if you are catching this around when I'm doing this, um, this will maybe mean something significant to you, like extra, um, because we were just in the February 22, like 0222 again. And um, that's a time for manifesting. So just pay attention to your wording when you go to attract something. So I desire. And so it's kind of like putting out a wish, um, setting, setting an intention, right? And so when we do goal setting, this is really important to feel like something's going to um, happen versus the doubt, okay? So that's really important to establish what you're desiring and really putting it out there, all right? So we're not coming from any place of fear. And so that's where you can connect to me for a healing reading coaching session um, with me and I can kind of um, clear any, well, I can um, attempt to clear um, anything that's blocked uh, within you that's block that's kind of in your way not kind of but anything that's in your way from really attracting that ultimate goal and the reason why I'm saying I might be able to do this is because it's really important that you um, again want these things for yourself so um, you know sometimes people don't even get um, where they want to get to in in their entire life um, because they're holding themselves back, like they're choosing not to get other people to help them. They're, um, you know, hanging on to things on purpose, okay? So that might also be you. I might be speaking to you today. Um, and then the other thing, hi, Hank, you want to come over? Come here. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's little baby. <laughs> And then, so, good boy, good boy. And then, so the other aspect is the energy of needing something. Like, I need this right now, right? When we're children, or when we're, like, a younger child anyway, we need our parents. We, we have to have our parents. It's just the way that it is. We need an adult of some sort to make sure um, that all of our basic needs are met. And what happens as we age and as we get older, um, it's like we it's like we sometimes forget what it was like to need someone else in a lot of ways. Um, and so we can get really stuck in our in our ways because we feel like, oh, we have everything that we need now. Um, and you know, we get really confused about I feel like what are what our needs actually are, all right? So the other really important thing that's coming up is just identify with what your needs are because we do have basic needs. As a child, we need food, we need water, we need shelter, we need sleep. I'm gonna say those are the main things and often we need clothing. Um, and we do need like love and, and affection as well so that we can can learn how to feel 
So these, to me, are really important things to acknowledge. And so in adulthood, when we go into our needs, um, sometimes we don't drink enough water, right? Um, and then our bodies tell us, as our throat gets really dry, or as we're starting to feel um, like sluggish, we'll say, um, fatigued, we might realize, hmm, I think I need some water, right? So thankfully our body speaks to us, but a lot of people um, wait for their body to start sending them signals and messages instead of these just being your day-to-day -day, like lifestyle, right? Um, so that might be you as well that I'm speaking to, and if that is you, you might be maybe lacking um, time in your life, maybe you have a busy lifestyle, you don't take time for yourself. So these are uh, the types of people that I often will, will help um, as well in understanding what their, what their needs are and um, you know how they can, how they can start re-identifying with, with their desires, their wants, their needs. Right. So the other thing too, if you're human, which you probably are, if you're watching this, you could be a dog. I don't know. Maybe this could be a dog channel. <laughs> Is um, food, right? We have a certain amount of food that we require in order to be considered um, healthy. However, we all have um, different body types. We all have different, again, like lifestyles. We all have different budgets and things like that. Um, so the other thing too would be, um, I'm getting to just, if we can put everything in simple terms, like if you think about what you need food wise in a day, would you be able to tell me what that is? So I'm going to say breakfast, even if that's an apple and an, or an orange, okay? Something. Lunch. Maybe it's a salad. Or a sandwich, we'll just say, okay? We'll give you a granola bar, just say. <laughs> or a shake. And then we have supper, which hopefully there's a protein of some sort in there. So we'll say you're vegetarian and it's like a bean a bean salad or something like that, right? Something that has a little bit of something in it. Or maybe maybe like steak, okay? But you're getting food, breakfast, lunch, and supper. And honestly, I feel like that, to simplify, having like three meals of some sort will allow you to feel at least sustained for the average person in the run of a day, okay? Over a period of time, I guess this is coming up for a reason, if we're not getting those needs met, we might run into some issues, okay? So with the food side, that's where sometimes we're not really um, connecting to, to our bodies and our needs, all right? So the other thing too is breathing is really important. A lot of people lack breath. And a lot of that is just because again, maybe you have a busy schedule, something like that. Maybe you weren't taught how to breathe. Maybe you weren't taught to, um, you know, connect to nature, whatever it is, um, or the importance of it. And that's okay. That's why you're watching this, right? Um, so for people that don't know, I also work with crystals, I work with herbs, flower essences, things like that. Um, so if you'd like to book a complimentary consultation with me, I might be able to tune in. And I not might be able to, I am able to uh, tune in with your permission. And let's just go into some of these needs and then I can provide some information for you at least to get you started. Hopefully you are able to to identify right now with maybe something that you'd like to start working on. So if you do, then you might want to put out to the universe right now, I desire. 
right? It's maybe it's I desire to have all of my basic needs met today and then breathe. <sighs> or maybe this is encouraging you to get a glass of water, okay? I have coffee in this. <laughs> because right now that's a need for me. <laughs> and a desire. So as we're talking about the difference between needs and desires, honestly, water is a need, okay? We know this. Coffee is a want, right? We can survive without coffee. And I know there'll be comments on this, but we can. Our body might go through some issues as a result of that if we're used to having coffee. However, coffee is not a need. It is a want. And if you can start looking at everything in your life that way, I think just acknowledging those things will really help you in understanding if you are covering your basic, 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 basic needs. And when you start covering your basic needs, drinking enough water, getting enough fresh air so that you can breathe and that you're eating enough food in order to make sure that you're covering what we need in order to live a healthier life or a healthy life on a regular basis it's when when you can cover those basic needs is when all of these awesome things that you really want are going to start coming in because you are coming from a place of health. And when you have health, you can have wealth, okay? So these things I just feel like are really important. I was, I was um, getting the energy to come on for only 11 minutes, just passing that. So please let me know if you found this informative. Thanks so much for um, working with me just by listening. And uh, if you would like to book in that complimentary consultation, I will leave the link in the comments. Bye for now.